Hey, bar is open. So today we're going to compare this Huayo Premium Soju versus a standard Soju. And Jinro is back. Hi there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today I'll be comparing this Huayo Premium Soju, the Premium 25, versus this Jinro is back, the, the normal soju, because I remember this to be very clean and crisp, unlike the harsher taste of most sojus. So I think it's going to be a, a nice comparison between a soju that tastes similar to sake. And as for all sojus, you know, I'll be drinking it two ways. First to be a one-shot, you know, and second, I'll be mixing it with some beer. And I've already opened this uh, premium soju, this Huayo Premium 25, loved it. Uh, so, for a start, we're going to have to open the standard soju. Now, for the cheaper soju bottles, you do try your best to shake it. Um, there's a lot of condensation, so I just splash it on myself. And after that, you knock the base so that the effervescence rises to the top. Now, in the past, this is done because there's a lot of um, impurities in the soju. But with modern you know, filter methods, uh, it's not really necessary, but the habit stays. And pouring this two out, uh, you know, I'm going to pour the normal soju first. It's a very nice, clean looking bottle. You know, it's, it's very different from the usual green bottles. It's just nice blue. It feels so refreshing. As usual, this is a crazy warm day in Singapore, so I might just pour a slightly bigger glass because it's nice and chill. And now for the Huayo Premium 25. Okay, now for sojus, don't go wild. Uh, you, you can get drunk pretty easily on them, so just drink with caution. Now, before I go on to the review, let's do a price comparison. This particular Jinro is back, retails at around 13 to 15 Singapore dollars per bottle, depending where you get it from, let's say 13 Singapore dollars per bottle. For that, you will get a very standard 360 ml bottle with 16.5% alcohol content. So it's a really potent drink in a small bottle. The Huayo Premium 25 is called 25 because of the 25% alcohol content. This is actually a 375 ml bottle, so a little bit bigger than the standard soju, but it retails at approximately 30 Singapore dollars per bottle. So let's see if I should pay double for this, more than double for this, as opposed to the Jinro is back. Starting with the Jinro is back. For sojus, the best way to drink is one shot. So, taste as one. It still has that, you know, very chemical, very industrial smell. But, there's a layer of sweetness to it. I think there's probably some sugar in there. Uh, and it's it's very pleasant in the mouth, but you can feel the burn at the back of the throat. The sweetness lingers, but it, it doesn't hit you coming down. The, whatever burns just stays in the throat, and that's it. So it's actually a pretty decent soju, a, very, a more comfortable soju to drink. I like this. I like this a lot. But to cleanse the palate, And compare it with the Huayo 25. Again, one shot. It's a different class. Completely different class. This just tastes like sake. I'm not very good at sake, but I'll tell you it has that fermented rice smell as opposed to this chemical industrial smell. Doesn't burn whatsoever, it's just so smooth and gentle and sweet. It doesn't even have any resemblance to a typical soju uh, taste. 
So I think between these two, I, I still go for the Huayo. It's more expensive, but it's so much more enjoyable. You know, the, 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 the sweetness, everything tastes real. Whereas this tastes like, you know, they, they covered the chemical uh, industrial taste with some sugar syrup or some form of uh, sweetener. So it feels a bit more forced. Still good, but much better. As for all soju, we're going to mix it with some beer. So let's get the beer. Alright, so with the beer here, let's start making our somic. So somic is a combination of two words, soju and mixju. Soju, obviously, and mixju, which is beer. So they, they, Koreans have this drink where they mix soju into beer, hence somic. Now the fancy way of pouring it is, you know, you're going to have the glasses together, you're going to knock the table and everything drops in and it's going to splash like crazy, so no. Uh, <laughs> I, I prefer it a bit cleaner than that. What I will do, however, is pour the beers as per how I do my beer reviews, meaning I'll pour them a little bit more haphazardly. Now what this means is that I want the foam in the glass, as opposed to in my stomach. Now one thing I didn't do was the smell, the scent of the soju earlier. So let's pour one more round of the Jinro is back and one more round of the Huayo. Now scent wise, yeah that, that harshness comes out, that smell, that harsh chemical smell comes out. Whereas for the Huayo, Ooh. Again, the very sweet rice uh, smell is there, so it's still the drink of choice. But we're going to have to do a somic, so using the foam of the beer as a cushion, let's mix our drinks. Now I'm supposed to use a Korean beer, but I ran out of it, so the lightest beer that I could get my hands on is Anchor. The concept of having a light beer is just that it doesn't overpower the, the, the smell of the soju, the taste of the soju, so you enjoy a nice mix of both drinks, okay? While being icy cold because, you know, again, cold beer and cold soju. So, starting with the Jinro is back Sonic. Because of the beer, the chemical smell is gone, so let's check on the taste. The, the harshness is gone, the, the, the chemical taste is gone as well. It's now a very sweet drink. That, that, that sweetener or the, the, the sugar syrup, whatever they added, complemented the beer. It removed any bitterness from this beer as well. It's a typical pilsner. And it's just nice, sweet, refreshing drink. I get why, you know, Koreans drink a lot of this. But let's cleanse the palate and compare it with the Huayo 25. And Taste test of the Huayo Sonic. I feel bad mixing the Huayo with the beer. It's like I'm, I'm spoiling the drink. But this is really the premium Sonic. The balance is ideal. It's not overpoweringly sweet. It's just more fragrant. But if I want to have more of this so mix uh, for the rest of the night, I probably stick to mixing this one because it's 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 not too far off, com uh, considering the, the taste of the beer as well, and it's still sweet and enjoyable. So I would just continue so mix with this one. Not to say this isn't good, but this feels like a sacrilege, like I'm spoiling the drink. So if you're talking about soju versus premium soju. Go for the premium. Cost more than double, absolutely worth it. But if you're thinking of just having so mix for a night to get hammered, then stick to regular soju, it'll do the job just as well. Hey, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste preferences and opinions. They're not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, want to find out what you think about this soju. The, the, the soju versus the premium soju. Have you compared them side by side? Drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do help me click on the like button, 
the subscribe button and the notification bell because I do try to upload at least one new video every week. Plus, if you know of anyone interested in watching such reviews, do help me send a link to the video as well. And as always, my friends, happy drinking.